you get together all your basic ingredients. Most of these ingredients um, you probably have at your home. A lot of these spices, that is if you cook very often, such as basil, that's a general staple. It does take a lot of dry spices, but if you cook a lot, you probably already have them in your home. The main ingredients you'll probably have to run to the store to get are red wine vinegar, possibly. Um, maybe some lemon juice and your chickpeas or garbanzo beans as they're other known, otherwise known. Then you're going to combine all of your ingredients in a food processor and you can chop them up, you can grind it up, doesn't really matter. Just process it of some, in some way and get it nice and smooth. Then you should have gotten it fairly smooth and you'll have your hummus dip. However, if you do want to make it a little smoother texture and a little less grainy, you will need to add the tahini, which I didn't include on the recipe simply because I usually don't use it. Um, if you want it creamy like the one in the stores, you will have to use tahini. I would suggest probably a tablespoon. Hummus is a great way to get your vegetables. Um, myself, I'm not much of a vegetable eater, but if you dip it in hummus, it gives it a real good flavor, and it's not like dipping it in ranch dressing or something where you're getting tons of fat. All you're getting here is protein and natural fats that are in beans um, and a little bit of olive oil fat, but it's nothing compared to uh, all the chemicals that are put in ranch dressing. Um, this is a great way to make a, a dish for people. You can also put it on sandwiches or in a salad as well.